Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're going to be creating this hipster style vector badge made from scratch in Adobe Illustrator. So just some ideas that you could do with this badge once it's completed. You could make a sticker out of it, maybe a gold foil sticker. You could stick on some of the products that you make. You could use it as a web badge. Um, I used a similar badge like this and created a stationary set. Um, so there's a bunch of things that you can use this for. So with that said, let's get started. Um, so I'm going to begin by making these stars and then we'll make this outer badge shape and then we'll bring in these nice lines and then we'll typeset everything and it'll be a piece of cake. So let's create the stars. I'm going to do this right next to it so you can see as it comes along uh, the individual pieces, how they all come together. So I'm going to grab my star tool over here in my toolbox and if I just drag out a star you can see it's not it's like a kid's star um, and I want it to be a little cooler than that so I'm on a Mac and I would hold command um, you can hold control if you're on a PC and you can see I'm just holding command on my keyboard and as I pull out and pull in um, it changes the, um, the shape of the star so once I get a star that I like I'm gonna let go and this needs to be black so you can see I've got a stroke of black right now so I'm gonna change this fill by clicking on it I'm gonna hit none right here and then all I have to do is hit this arrow and I can swap it so now it's filled with black instead of a stroke so I need two of these so I'm just gonna have these off to the side while I create everything else and it'll make sense why I'm doing these stars first in a minute okay so I'm just gonna leave those over here for now and now I'm going to make this big outer badge shape. And we're actually going to use the star tool again to, to create this. So I'm going to grab my star tool. And you can see it kept my previous settings. But now um, I've got my, my mouse clicked down. And if I hit my up arrow key, this increases the number of times that you hit your up arrow key, increases um, the number of points on your star. So I'm just going to create a whole bunch of points. And now if I go back like I had before and hold my command on a Mac or control if you're on a PC, I can move this out and you can see I'm going to make a, a wide badge like that. So when you get it to the point you want it, all you have to do is release and now I've got this, this badge looking shape. You can see my bounding box is kind of angled right here and I want it to be straight up and down. So when I, I scale, it scales normally. So in order to do that, I'm just going to right click, transform, reset bounding box and now I've got a nice bounding box around it. So to make this big. Okay, so now you can see that I've got inside of here, this is a circle. So I'm gonna cut away from this, this inside circle. So I'm gonna grab my circle, my ellipse tool, and I'm gonna hold shift, which creates a uniform circle. Otherwise I'll get an oval if I don't hold shift. So I'm gonna change colors so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna, if I hold shift again, I can rescale it proportionally. And that looks pretty good. I'm just kind of looking at how much width I want between the inside point and where the circle is. So that's pretty good. Maybe just a little bit bigger, holding shift again. Okay, so now I need this aligned vertically and horizontally, so this space is consistent all the way around. So I'm going to select both by just dragging my mouse like this, and up here, all I'm going to hit is this horizontal align center, and then this vertical align center, and you can see it moved it just a little bit. So now everything is perfectly aligned in here, and I'm going to select everything again. I'm going to come to my Pathfinder. And if you don't have this over here, you can get to it by going Window, Pathfinder. And I'm just going to click this Divide button right here. So now this separates these two, but they're grouped together. Whenever you divide something, it automatically groups it together. So we have to ungroup it. And I'm just hitting Command-Shift-G to ungroup or Control-Shift-G if you're on a PC. And now these are separated. So I can just delete this blue circle. So now I've got my main badge. So now we're going to move on to these inside lines. I'm actually going to create circles for those, different size circles. But I need them to have a stroke. So over here, I'm just going to hit this swap fill and stroke. 
just so I can keep an idea of um, the spacing of all of them. So I need three of them. So I'm holding, in order to make a copy, I click, I hold Alt on my keyboard, I click and I drag, and if you hold Shift, you'll drag straight down. It won't go all over the place like this. And now I'm just going to rescale. So I'm going to hold Shift again, so I rescale proportionally so it stays a circle. And now I'm going to do the same thing again. It's selected. I'm holding Alt, click, drag, and then I hold Shift. And it needs to be just a little smaller than that. So let's see what all these look like together. So I'm going to select everything. And then I'm just going to do the same two buttons as before. All right, so you can already see this one's a little big. So I'm going to hold Shift, select it, hold Shift, resize. Do the same thing over again. So that's pretty good. Let's make all of them just a little bigger. I'm going to make this middle one just a little larger. All right, cool. So you can see this inside line is thin. So actually, let's make all these um, to select everything at once. I'm selecting everything, and then I'm going to hold Shift. And if I click this outside badge, it'll deselect it. So now I've got my three strokes, and I'm going to make them all black. So we're consistent here. OK, so this inside line's kind of thin, so I'm going to go into my stroke palette which if you don't see it, you can go to it by going window stroke. And I'm going to make this one 0.5. And then this one, is, we're going to create it at 0.75. And this one is a dashed line. So we're just going to check dash line right here. And this, these are really wide dashes, so they, um, they're automatically 12 points. It's just the default. So we'll change that by going to four. Actually, let's make them three. And you can see they're kind of hard edged, which these ones are too, but I kind of like a rounded edge. So if I go rounded cap and rounded corner, now they'll be a little, they kind of look like Tic Tacs. Um, actually, let's make this a little thinner. Let's make it the same, 0.5. Okay, and let's make it a little smaller so we can match our first one. Okay. And then this one, let's just leave it at one point. Okay. So now we need to cut a rectangle into this to make room for our type. So we need to expand all of these. So I'm going to select them all. I hold shift. I click, then I hold shift and I click the other two to select everything at once. And I'm going to go object, expand appearance. And I'm going to do it one more time. And we want the fill and the stroke. These only have strokes on it, but um, we'll expand those. So now you can't edit the stroke. So sometimes it's good to make a copy if you um, feel like you might want to change it later on. So now we can no longer edit the stroke in here because these are filled shapes. When you expand a fill or when you expand a stroked object, it becomes a fill. So now all these are separate. We're going to group them together. So I selected all of them. I'm going to hit Command G. And now I'm going to draw a rectangle. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball this the way I want it. And now um, that looks like a pretty good height. OK, so I'm going to select everything. And then I'm going to deselect this outer badge by holding my Shift. And then I'm going to click. And now I'm going to divide come back to my Pathfinder and click this button. And now I'm going to ungroup, so I'm going to hit Command Shift G. And now all these pieces we can delete. I don't really want that little guy hanging out there. I don't want that one either. Sometimes you, you'll you get these um, negative spaces that were between other objects, so I'm just going to delete those. We don't need them. Okay, 
So now we're going to go back. Let me get rid of these two. These are just remnants. OK, so I'm going to grab my star and place it. I'm going to hold shift. Actually, you can see our bounding box is angled again. So I'm going to go transform reset bounding box, scale it down. I held shift so it would scale uniformly as I scaled. Actually, I don't need that one. We'll just copy this one. OK, so this is the fun part. We're going to align everything to the center. Whoops. OK, so I'm going to grab my two stars and I want them to align with this badge. So uh, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to hold shift, click my other star. And with shift still held, I'm going to click this outside badge. So I want them to align to this outer badge. I don't want them to all kind of align to the center the average center of all of them. So in order to, for these stars to align with this badge, once all these are selected, I'm no longer holding shift. I'm just going to click once on this badge. And now everything will be based off this badge. So if I hit this, the star is aligned to just the badge. So the badge won't move on me because it's centered with these lines. OK, so now I'm just going to draw these. I'm hitting um, my backslash or my slash key um, to get my line tool, or you can grab it over here. And I'm going to hold shift so I get a straight line. And I'm going to make it a stroke of one. Rounded cap, rounded corner. Actually, let's do 0.75. And we're going to put a little circle at the end. Um, you can either put a circle this way by grabbing your ellipse tool or in the stroke palette. Um, you can see these arrowheads. I want the left one to be a circle, so you can also do it this way. And because that's gigantic, you can change the scale right here. So maybe I want, uh, let's do 25. Okay, so that adjusts the scale of the circle. I'm going to hold Alt, drag, hold Shift, right click, transform, reflect, vertical. a little longer than I need it. It's for the sake of time. Usually I would make sure these links matched. Okay, so I'm just going to drop in my type. Um, so this is set in Deming, which I'll leave a link. These are both free fonts, so I'll leave a link so you guys can download them. Um, this is set at, this doesn't really even matter because you'll change your badge to whatever size you need, but this is Deming. Um, and I'm going to grab this. This is called Rex Bold. Um, you can see right here. And let me just draw. This goes all the way. And because I've got um, the circle on one side, I need to put it on the other side too. And make this also 25% so they match. Let's line my star up. Grab.com. Okay, so that's how to make a hipster style vector badge in Illustrator from scratch. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and also visit my website, everytuesday.com. I've got a bunch of freebies on there and tutorials almost every single week. Thanks for watching.